everybody say hello to cows go bork <laughs> yeah that's right let's give you more food that's right buddy <laughs> cows go boo he was in here with me oh gosh when were you when were you in here with me ah oh, so it was forever ago what's going on everybody dj coham and cows go bork over here <laughs> we have some really really fun stuff that we are going to do today oh yes yes we do so we're gonna make some well we're gonna make some bales i think we're gonna make some silage bales because silage bales are expensive yes they are goodness gracious yeah that wasn't weird at all was it so the first thing that we need to do is we're going to try and do this in as little passes as possible and that is going to be the goal for today so what i'm gonna do we're gonna get the big boy out of here and we're gonna hook up to the mowers we're gonna go ahead and get him going oh here we go spin him around we are on the playstation 4 today if you guys are curious here we go let's grab this the felsbrun wait the felsbrun game save is a ps4 game save so let's pull through here and we are going to be using our grass field that we bought a couple of days ago and let's just go ahead and unfold everybody, get it all lowered down. And I don't know exactly where the field begins and ends. Oh, it's right here. Gosh, oh, I'm on it. All right. Uh, we'll extend it out just to get a little bit extra. Let's go ahead and hire a worker. Let's let them do the thing and drop down. Perfect. So they are going to go ahead and go on, and they're going to do this entire field. And because... They're, well, because they're doing it so well and so good, and there's mowers on the front and the back, and we have a lady worker, because all those things combined, this is going to go very well for us. Perfect. So the next thing we need to do is we need to windrow it. Now, the windrow is going to be quite, uh, well, it's going to be quite a big windrow, to be completely honest with you. This thing is massive. So we pretty much going to have to get this field done before I can even set this windrower off it is going to take forever but this windrower is probably going to make like I don't know 10 passes tops that mower is going to take a bit <laughs> they're coming through now from the other side as well that would be cool instead of doing like one mower be nice to have two then again how expensive is that well, it's real expensive, DJ. See, that's what I thought. I figured it would be kind of pricey. All right, so we've got that. We've got that good and good. Now we've got this guy right here. So this is a baler and wrapper all in one. So with that, um, well, I should probably take a look and see how much horsepower that requires. That's a lot of those. We need to get rid of those. They're just a mess. Okay, so it says it requires 140 horsepower, and our 6R, 6M, let's see, 300 and 164. So I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead, we're going to jump in here, drop off this, if we can. There we go. Nice. So while that's going, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what we're going to do here. We need to pick up all the straw that we've got. So this uh, this tractor is really not going to be... Oh, yo, we need to change the wheels on it. Yes! <laughs> I totally forgot that we put one of these on the map. Yeah! Skinny wheels, prepare for not-so-skinny wheels. Customize. Uh, let's see. Wheel, wheel setups. <laughs> Woo! Um, you know what? I haven't done just wides on anything in a while. So let's jump in and just do wides. Wide tires, yeah. See, now it looks like a normal tractor. <laughs> so I think this is what the mower is going to be attached to. Because it's going to do a good job with that. And we'll go ahead and grab it, and we'll take it over there. Actually, to be honest with you, see, don't we need to plow? Or do we? Yes, we do. Field 20 needs plowing. 
do we own a plow? This, that's the, that's the thing here. Eh, no we don't, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and just leave that there anyway. We are all over the place. I'm so sorry. We're taking you guys on a ride on a freaking journey today. That is a fact. Let's go and grab this. We're going back into the shoot maker right here. Hopefully we've got enough power to pull this thing. I think we do. But I can't remember who used it last and what tractor was used. Okay, so we've got that. Let's see if we can turn it. And I believe these work. Yep. Lower. We don't have to do any folding or unfolding. Nice. So, let's go and set a cruise control. Let's turn this on. I did make one large swath just to test out the new wind rower. And uh, uh, it's, a little, it's a little large. It's a little large, I must say. I'm picking it up. But I'm real worried that I'm going to miss some. So this is this is the dangerous part. Yeah. So how about this? How about we take a little zoom? Let's get all the straw picked up. In the midst of all that, I've quickly realized that that was boring. Very boring. And we've got enough horsepower to power that thing right there. The big old shooting maker. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sell this one. Let's go ahead and drop that there. And let's spring into action here and get this thing sold as quickly as possible. Condition's good. We don't need to worry about any repair calls. And, you know, we're going to repair it anyway. So let's go ahead and repair it for $134 and sell it for eighty-six grand. And, of course, naturally, I just turned my tractor off. <laughs> All right. So we're good here. Uh, I would almost dare to say that this is going to look a little funny on the back of here. But we supposedly have enough power to pull it, or at least to make it work. I think the larger issue right here is going to be, is it too heavy? As we just reached top speed now, and are we going to go down in speed going uphill? No, no, we seem to be doing okay. Well, that's all right. That works for me. So this should be able to hold a little bit more. I think it holds like 56,000 liters, something like that. It's, it's something absolutely ridiculous in comparison. Oh, we are driving through here way too fast for me to not have control. All right, let's slow her down. This should get it done a little faster. The only reason I want it to hold more is so that we can make less trips. More work, less trips. That's what we want. Oh, yeah, we are running 12 miles an hour easily. Very easily. Ooh, turning... Uh, not its forte, is it? Not at all. Oh, we're missing some too. Daggum it. All right. So let's quit missing this stuff. I do think, let's take a look here. Yep. Our mower seems to be getting along pretty well. Great thing is, since we're doing silage bills, also, we've already got eight, by the way. I ended up having to buy them. I had to do, a, uh, do the thumbnail for the last video. And Adam was like, hey, you know what? Let's just go ahead and keep them. Why not? And then that area right there as soon as the landscaping mod is released we will be using the landscaping uh well, we'll say mod landscaping patch really i'm going to be using that so that we can put down some animals but before then i'm not even going to touch it but we do need another field so that we can do more work i want to be able to do two crops plus grass in order to make silage and the reason that I'm, again, the reason I want to make silage instead of doing regular, you know, instead of buying it, is because hay is cheap. If we've got a grass field, we could do grass, but we don't need grass. The, that's the wonderful thing about doing cows now is we, well, we don't really need grass, do we? It's awesome. 
Now if we want to do any other animals, we can. Nice and easy. Yeah! Let's keep rocking. And it appears that our mower is making its last pass right now. And that is phenomenal. We've got a little bit of overlap on one end, and we've got a little bit of overlap here as well, which is awesome. That's why I love using these butterfly mowers. Should say helpers completed their task, and it has. So let's take this, and its first task is over. Now I am going to use this on the mower. I just, mower, goodness gracious, the baler. I didn't think I was going to be able to, but hey, we are in a position. Get out of here, son. That's right. Clutch. Bam. Uh, ooh, ooh. Stay away from cows go bork. <laughs> oh, that is a heck of a name for a pupper, ain't it? I think if I ever had a dog in real life, I would still name it cows go bork. Just for, you know, you know, make people be like, uh, why'd you name your puppy dog then, man? <laughs> Just to confuse people. That's, that's 100% why I would do that. All right, let's drop that there. Not... Uh, I gotta be honest with you, not exactly where I'm gonna park that. Let's get this backed out of the way. Sorry, 6M, you are useless once again. Useless, useless, useless. Park this up beside the house. Yeah. Yeah, we could, well, if we were playing multiplayer, we could do that. But we're not. Jump right in. Pull forward, pull forward. And I do wanna. Oh, no, no, no. I was gonna say, I do wanna lower this down, but it looks like I've gotta open it before I lower it get that dropped nice okay so this next uh next little round is actually really really easy because all we got to do is follow the windrower that's it and we can do all this in one pass and it blows my mind people that are you know kind of say like oh this and that da, 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 da. i don't know what you're talking about <laughs> doing grass works easy man let's jump in here let's open it up Let's bring it to it. <laughs> Watch, I'll screw something up and be like, Oh, yeah, sorry, I forgot about that. Da, 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 da. <laughs> All right. For fun, let's go here. All right. Set it on a worker. Worker should do a good job. If the worker does not do a good job, then, well, we'll go get a different windrower. There's a pretty good chance that this may not work. You know, I'm starting to think. I think I remember the last time I tried to use this windrower. It got to the end, but it didn't actually finish. Ooh, this is going to be interesting. What is it going to do? What are you going to do? Who's in here? Okay, it's a lady. Hopefully it should be done right. We shall see. If it's not done right, we know it's not her fault. We know it's the game's fault. What? what? <laughs> it's dropping a mower down way out there. What is it doing? All right. Yeah, okay, so this windrower is no bueno because it leaves that patch down at the end. That is no good. We cannot have that. And here I was talking good stuff about this windrower. I don't want to do it myself. And this is a whole lot of grass. I mean, this is a lot of grass. Oh boy. Hey, at least we can go 32 miles an hour. Let's jump in first person. Yeah, we're rocking along now. Tell you what, I am really surprised that that tractor down there is not causing problems yet. Nor this one. We had no issues at all. Seems like the, the driving pattern almost has changed. You guys notice that at all? Or is that just me being weird and crazy? It's probably that. Alright, let's get through here. Oh, slam on the brakes. Drop it off. Nice. So with the new update coming out, we're supposed to be able to not let that happen. We won't have to just slam on the brakes and get rid of it like that. There we go. Okay. We need wind rowers. So the one ideally that I would go with would probably be this Coon Merge Max. But it's real expensive. A whole, I mean, very expensive. Um, oh, I still kind of want to go with it though. Another one people have been asking about is this Coon right here, which is really awesome. But... 140 horsepower. I think the real question is, how powerful is this tractor? 175. We got it. We got this. All right, let's run over to it. There it is. And one thing we're going to have to do is we're going to turn on this help window because I have no idea how to use this thing. <laughs> I wish I was live, man. I wish I was live. Let's look up to it. Oh, man. 
Here we go. Nice and easy. Can't back up for nothing, can we? Okay. Um, uh, selected work mode left. Okay, so I want... How do I change the work mode? Nope, that's not it. We may have to... Hmm. I think we're going to have to open it up for it to actually change. So let's do that. I am going to send it back down just so we can get everything together. Here we go. This thing's awesome. <laughs> that is incredible. All right, let's lower it. And then now we want to see if we can change selected work, work mode left, but I don't want it to be on the left. I want it to be on the right. Fold, lift, turn on. I'd figure this out. All right, we got it. We got it. Turns out it's uh, R1 and then toggle work mode because I'm an idiot and didn't even think about toggle work mode for whatever freaking reason. So now that we've got that sorted, let's go ahead and turn that off. All right, now what we need to do is get the baler ready. Perfect. Baylor's on. You just got to get lined up with it. What it's going to do is it's going to make a grass bale. And... It's going to unload directly. Yes, it is. Just like that. And as soon as it closes back, we can keep on working. There we go. Now, we do have to stop, unfortunately, every now and then. I say every now and then. Uh, we have to stop a lot. <laughs> but... We still get these things done and kind of done nicely and neatly. What are you? Is that the way you think you're supposed to? Hmm, shoo. <laughs> so we're going to see how much of this I can stand before I completely get tired of doing round bells. And we'll see you shortly. Well, as you can imagine, I have gotten extremely tired of doing bales. I did eight. <laughs> and we are going to collect these bales. Should have two right here and then another six down the line. Oh, man. They went rolling. It was a Limp Biscuit song up in here. You get it, you get it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can keep rocking with these things. There we go. There we go. So at this point, we'll have, I think it's a 16, 16? Yeah, 16 of these silage bells, which is fantastic. So what we are going to do, at least this is my idea. We'll see what you guys think about this. My idea is to take the grass that's on the ground. Ooh, uh, I think we're going to have to raise that up. There we go. I think what I'm going to do is we are going to create silage. We're going to actually like make silage, cover it up, you know, all that good stuff, put it in a bunker. And then, uh, and then we're going to use that to sell it and take that money and <laughs> buy silage bills. Maybe I, I can't confirm nor deny that, but eh. That's what's on my mind right now. Let's get this put here. Ooh, sliding a little much. A little, little too much for my liking. Here we go. Now we have to be careful because these bells technically don't exist right now because they are in a state where they kind of change the way the game recognizes them. So we do have to make sure that we drop them just right at the right spot. Perfect. Sweet. Okay, so we've got that. That is good. That is done. A couple silage bells are done. I'm completely tired of doing it. And that should be popping up momentarily, which is good. Yes, it is. Nice. Now down to the store we go because we've got something purchased at the store. There we go. It stopped. It stopped. We are going to use this tractor for some for good we have uh get out of here son nobody wants you it's not a sign never mind so we've got something we're going to use for good on the farm 
It is a subsoiler that is going to rip up field 20, right next to field 19. We're going to get that ripped up, ripped and teared, all good, yeah. And we're going to go through and double check, make sure there's nothing else we need, like that, that bell wrapper. Well, we're not going to need that anymore, are we? We do need to make some hay, though. I think we'll make some hay in the next grass stage. So, here we go. Let's grab that. Bam! We did go with the... Uh, uh, I don't know what Brandon says. Coon. There we go. Coon. Because it takes 10 less horsepower. It's a little less. Oh, they are going to come this way too. Oh, more signs. Yeah. Get out of here, signs. Y'all don't even belong here. <laughs> I got a war on signs, by the way. Uh, somebody commented in one of the last videos. was say like the the 10, uh, 10 requirements to be DJ or something like that. One of them was to run over the signs. Or get out of here, stupid signs. I think another was like, ah, oh, crap. <laughs> it cracked me up. It was awesome. Whoever it was, if that was you, you did an amazing, incredible job. I loved, loved, loved it. All right, so we got this. Here we go. Let's set this on a worker. Let them get this field done for us. It's going to take them a minute, but that's all good. Now, this is subsoiler, so it's going to rip it up, and it's going to cultivate it all at the same time. Sweet. Not sure if seven miles an hour is the top speed for that thing. We should probably take a look and see. Yeah, seven miles is. Hey, it's as fast as we could possibly do it. Awesome. This is going good. I think we may have one more pass, possibly two. It's uh, a good, uh, good question to ask, isn't it? But it is going well. It looks good. Everything is working well with that. Sweet. So we, well, we've got to finish up getting our straw so we can fill up that barn then we have to place down two hay barns and we have to place down a silo so we can take all this grass and put it to use that ought to be fun let's jump in here let's go ahead and take a look at silos real quick Just smallest one the itty bittiest of the itty bitties uh, looks like closest we're going to be able to get is about right here, which is far enough away from my liking, but it doesn't look like Tractor is going to be able to get down to the end of that field. Though, later on, we're not even going to be using that field for that. So does it even matter? Could put it right here, but that's not really going to work for us. Ooh, we could, now now this is something that could that could happen. Potentially. Is putting silo down here let me raise lower all that good stuff i'd prefer to raise um what about a eh, it seems a little large for the amount of grass that we're going to be doing um you know what so this area right here is is fairly flat and i like that it's fairly flat so how about this let's see how close we can get to these trees about right there spin around get it down to the end of the end of the field here place it bam so now eh, we got a little bit there yeah that's all right that'll be okay that'll do it for us so now we've got this and we got a bunker down here as well right beside our grass field and we can make silage in that yeah now this is what i'm talking about this is it Where's my tractor? <laughs> Get this done over here. Perfect. Now, we've got a tractor around here somewhere. Where is it? Here it is. Yeah. So this was getting straw. But I think it's time has come now. To, how much straw do we have left? Let me, let me do a little bit of math real quick. See which field we need to do first. Well, what I decided to do was to go ahead and finish getting our straw. And now we are over here getting our grass. Yeah. Like I said, it, it's kind of kind of nice that we're right here beside everything. Let's get lined up here so we get everything. Nice. Sweet. So, what we were going to do is we are going to go ahead and we are going to pick all this grass up. And we are going to get it transferred over to that bunker right there. I still think the bunker is going to be too big for what we want to do. However, 
we're gonna have plenty plenty of grass right here to make silage or whatever whatever we decide to do with it well it's gonna be silage let's be honest all this was planning to be silage anyway so there you go there you have it so it is gonna take us a hot minute because we are not picking this up nearly as fast as we were. Oh, come on. Nice and easy. Do it. Maybe I should have done uh, left <laughs> last time we were around here. There we go. Okay. And we're still going to be able to make these turns. Not bad. So, guys, that is going to be it for today. Get out of here, birds. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like. You know, right, please subscribe. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comment section. That being said, hope you guys have a great day. And we will see you later. Peace.